You know, when I said she's sadly not here, she actually came up into my lap, my cat. So, maybe she'll sit here for a while and maybe she'll go, uh, get tangled up in all of my cords and items and get on the cat cam. But this is a robot. Um, as you can tell from the music, it might be kind of, uh, chill. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's start a new game. This is the asteroid Q, home to a small population of robots. This, uh, oh, I see. Tonight, a young girl uh, named Nara is leaving home to begin her capacity training on board the Ventral Space Station. Ventral is one of the six stations which together protect Q. Nara is moving there to learn how to tend the power the power flowers which create the station's shield. After Lieutenant Kino has shown her to her room, Nara drifts off to sleep, unaware that the outside another visitor is arriving. Uh oh. Early the next morning, Tinakino told me a Yeti lives on board the station. I hope it's true. I like my room. The light sprites kept me up most of the night with their static song. But it was comforting somehow. What was that? I did make my VTuber avatar. I did make it myself. Uh oh. Ouch, my head. Left click to move. Left click on consumables and keepables to examine them. Keepables, drag and drop, uh, click them. Cursor state, inactive, busy. Escape menu, menu, consumables, keepables, consumables. Okay. All right, you later. I need to find the others first. Crystals are frightening. Captain Art, Art will know what to do about them. Or light sprites. The attack must spook them. That's an achievement. Okay. Thank you for saying you love it. Never seen crystals like this before. How did they grow so quickly? I don't understand these paintings. Maybe I'm missing something. Hello, is anyone there? This is Nara. Do you read me? No one is picking up. Wait, my girl bought guidebook. I'll take it with me. I don't need to read it all now. This? My guidebook, I'll take this with me. 
I don't need to read it all now. Robots began their lives as mascots for a human asteroid mining company. Asteroid Q. Toy robot. Dirty robots. Track them remotely play from home. Geologists found the robots beneath the region Q. One to life using a quasi crystal. Crystal power grow is powerful and capable of great good, but its energy levels are unstable and there's a terrible incident and the crystal powered robot fled. Um there's a terrible incident and yeah. Before the geologists could find this, the crystal grow box, a tear in space appeared near Q and from it poured a cosmic sea. Unable to flee because their ships were not built to withstand the cosmic waves, the geologists took steps to build a shield around Q. The geologists were few and it would take many to quickly bring their vision. The geologists brought the remaining grobots to life, this time using grow blooms, bioengineered flowers capable of powering and sustaining themselves. The flower powered grobots helped the geologists build their defenses. Six space stations floating in a diamond formation around Q, which together power a giant protective shield known as the greenhouse system. Safely hidden within, the grobots and the geologists began to turn the sea and catalog in the alien life drifting through it in hopes of finding a resolution, but none came, and with the passing of time, both the sea and the greenhouse system remain. Starbelly? Holograms on board, including the ventral station. Um, Starporter fusion reactor. Hollow ghosts. Feed on holographic data and lurk. She was so close. Nolly went out of my lap and she almost went into droid cam range. Being a hologram, they lurk inside teleporters. They've been known to eat some atoms of travelers during teleportation. Lights are friendly, just like being on their own. They are forever shedding light pollen, which can be used to power holotech and other technologies such as the cloud machine. And low bees are biomechanical creatures which feed on nectar and light. Okay. It, it did say I could read it later. The history is good. Everyday strawberry jam. Oh, hello. I heard that thought, and no, I'm not a Yeti. I'm a Starbelly. Where are Kino and Captain Art? Captain Art was upstairs in the garden. I don't know where Kino is. Well, I find in the garden. Fire, clouds, mellow bees, the head gardener, or at least her body. She's barely in it. How do I get upstairs to the garden? You'll need holotech. The bear won't let you up there without it. Wee Ted is chief of security. I can get you a hollow prism for a small fee, and all you need to do is activate it with light pollen. And your price, Starbelly? I want jam. Not the strawberry junk robots eat. I want solar berry jam. How'd I make solar berry jam? Captain keeps the recipe for it somewhere here in this kitchen. When she made it, use the teleporter to ping it down to me in engineering. Then I'll send you over your holoprism. Why can't I just hand you the jam? I'm a level 1 hologram, so I can't eat jam or even hold it in my spaghetti arms. Only level 3 me can. A level 3 me lives down engineering. You can teleport the jam over to her and she will eat it on my behalf. What is an engineering? A really big me. That me is a fusion reactor. The music room is relaxing and the harmonics room is fun. If we Ted lets you push the buttons. What's so special about solar berry jam? Each solar berry is a delicious tiny nuclear reaction which fuels me up so I can do stuff like fetch you things. Good doing business with you, rookie. Alright. Water. Oh, did I? I got it. Got some water. Sugar. Here, they make noise. Uh, oh, sorry, I missed that. Solar berries. 
Uh, ingredients. Water, sugar, solar berries, empty jar jam. Instructions. Combine the sugar and water in an empty jar with solar berries. React the jam in the jam reactor. Remove any white or black holes. Is that the jam reactor? Okay. Just need an empty jam jar. That one? Okay. Let's say water, sugar, sugar, and water in an empty jar with solar berries. Let's react some jam. Strawberry jam. All right. Never used a teleporter before. Okay. all the pictures are messed up. That's kind of weird. There's a geologist trapped inside. I don't know how to free him. Looks like a small door. Blocked. Uh. Okay. Music box needs winding up. A flower arranger. Now all I need are charged gem emitters to activate it. A pale blue heart. This looks interesting. A hibernating brain of pillow. Wonder how I can wake it up. Oh, there's a key. Shouting or shaking won't work. A brain of pillow is programmed to hibernate and awaken to a specific sound, usually a melody. That's the key to the... Good day, Grobot. I'm Brina Pilla, your personal guide on board the station. There's much to learn, so let's get started. Please open your head. Alrighty, let's go. Oh. Hi. This feels weird. A uh, brain of pillow. Drag me from the. Eh. Uh, that sounds like another attack. The light thrusts have shown a reduction in light problems. It's being used to power the plaid machine. I'm concerned we are losing connection with nature. These letters all seem to be from a robot council meeting discussing technology. What is to be done about the teleporter? Rumors of a hollow ghoul infestation are spreading. I believe. Uh, what has to be done about the, uh, is it possible to access Captain Ivy's research on the effects of invoking? The fire puffs have been molting after invocation. The robot council should be expanded to include all representatives from all greenhouse residents. Captain Ivy's machines, as useful as they are, neglect the souls which move them. Okay. A seed house. Drag me from the inventory onto any object or character. I've, if I have something to say, I'll trip away. A seed house ignites the latent properties of the objects placed within it. Oh. Communication system must be down. Oh, pa the power bears. Okay. Wait, wait, can I also... No. I think that's everything. Okay.
You're trapped in an ice crystal, right? Yay! Thank you, it's scary inside that crystal. Please set the seed as a token of my gratitude. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh. Uh, what are these strange crystals? They're the work of Chrissy. The station is firmly in her grass. In the terrarium where I grew up, the gems would tell us scary stories about her. Last week, my friend said he saw Chrissy inside the greenhouse system. We all thought he was imagining things, but I'm not so sure now. Where did your friend see Chrissy? It was somewhere near Dorsal Station. Dorsal is the scariest station. Only Captain Ivy works there, and a handful of light sprites. There have been rumors of another robot living there, as Captain Ivy has been heard whispering to someone. What does Chrissy look like? They say crystals grow over all, grow all over her body. Have you seen Captain or Lieutenant Kino? No, I'm sorry, I've only seen Weed Ted. He's a particularly curt bear. The only time I've seen him take his hat off was during a karaoke at Captain Rowan's leaving party. What can I do with these seeds? It's a daisy seed. I saw what happened with your daisy during the attack. Plant it in the seed house to grow it, then collect its sounds into your flower arranger. Bye, geologist. Oh, sorry. Oh. I need an active flower arranger to cut. Oh. Welcome to your flower arranger. Use tutorial button to begin. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Flowers aren't real though. Well, they're really real and part of this whole uh world. When you collect a shield, it will appear here. Use the listen button to hear the shield sound. Collect flower notes and select them to hear their sound. Drag and drop them into positions. Recreate the shield sound using your flower notes. Once you have a match, use the create button to test your... Okay. I have no shield sound. Can I not take this with me? Not flowers aren't real, just like the moon landing in the spherical earth. Oh, god damn it. What did you just say? Oh. Please sign a petition calling for a redesign of the greenhouse system's technology. Our technology should serve, not exploit us. That. That looks like the asteroid Vesta. Looks like a small door. Oh, hello! All robots will see possession of holotech. Speak to Starbelly in the kitchen. Alright, I got your jam, Starbelly. Now, what the hell do you want me to do with it again? I can't re-get these. How did I... AU. Hey, what is the Starbelly? I get you a hollow prism for a small fee that only need to activate with light pollen. Name your price. Tillerberry jam. I made tillerberry jam. Yeah, I'm giving me my stars rolling. Pop it in the teleporter and send it down to me. the teleporter oh where was that jam oh and then I need the light sprite stuff hey can I oh
Okay. But there's scared lights right under the bed. Maybe if I place his friends down in front of him, he'll come out. There he is. Oh, I got his... Oh, I got the thing I need. How do I put this together? How do I teleport this down to you, my friend? I've never used teleport before. Okay. Okay. What is that? Hollow prism. And then I put the light sprite in the hollow prism. Okay. Okay. Uh. Readjust for a second. Ugh. Ugh. I'm about to cover the items I have. I wonder if I should be on the other side. Also, my hair kind of covers. Maybe I should be on the other side. And, and maybe they'll be fine. They told us how she would capture and crystallize their prey. They told us to never look directly into our heart gem. How can I stop Chrissy? I don't know. The question I'd be asking is how did she break through the station's shield? I'd ask Captain Ivy about that. They designed most of her weapons and shield. Goodbye, geologist. Good luck. I'll be here if you need me. It's like a small door. Oh, wait. The button. Yeah, because I got the thingy. Thank you. Bye. Oh, God. Yikes, what is that? Oh. Oh my, is that a new shirt? Um, it's just my, uh, it's my undershirt for my jacket. Hi, Carl. I made a shield key. Now to drag it onto that big red shield blocking the doorway. Oh, I got it. Let's go to the garden. Okay. What's that? A spray pump. Okay. Bioluminous flourishes high up in dark, damp climates with the aid of Bioluma The little thing with the bottle plus vines equals this. Okay. Bottle water. Cluster light pollen. Oh, weird how it shifted a little bit. Oh. Don't point me at stuff, hey! I know! Oh. I don't know. What the hell? Is 
that my fire alarm going off? Okay. Hey, what's up? Use the red arrow to zoom out. It's strange to be sleeping at a time like this. Wake up? I can't reach them. I guess I'll come back later. Okay. I smell something burning. Hold on. It's just my dad, uh, cooking crap. Uh. Okay, I need new flour. Okay, so... Bump. This. On this stuff? Um. I didn't look at this. Pipe here is broken. That ivy. I could make a flower grow. Oh, th this stuff. Bioluminote. The tunnel beneath the key are full of biolumi. The caves familiar the cave fairies live there. Did I get a new note? Yes, okay. Sorry. So opposite. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't want to listen to you. I just want to use the thing. Pipe wrench. Okay, let's go fix the thing. Mechanicarium was interesting because it didn't actually, um,. Uh... What am I typing? Symbol of a cloud. Please enter five pin hollow security code.
Okay. Can I go to the side? I can. Hold on. There's more to explore that I missed. Okay. What's that? Uh, E to something turning, well, this thing. I don't think I'll fit. Hey guys. You wanna... Hey! Can I have the stuff? Wait, there's stuff in it. Okay. I don't know what that was about. But that's cool. Hope that wasn't a timed puzzle thing. Uh Is it this is kinda like Mechanicarium. What's up? Uh hi Minson. It is like Mechanicarium. I said like there's no dialogue in Mechanicarium. Um Mechanic Arium. There we go, that probably makes more sense. Um the cloud machine. Stuff plus water plus sprites equals cloud. Ugh. No water, no light light sprite. Okay, where did I put the light sprite? Please see the water machine with the cloud symbol in the previous room. Okay. Okay. Alright. I think that's everything I could grab in here. Uh, what is it about? So far, it is about, um... There's an asteroid with little things called Grobots that is protected by six stations. Um, and we just got attacked. So everything's kind of broken, and we're trying to figure out how to fix, uh, fix everything. What did this say here? Bio- okay. Oh yeah, I've already done the bio grow. I need the code. I can't do it anymore. Let me do it once. All right, I need a code. Oh, one of the wheels is turning. Can't reach him. I guess they'll come back later. One of the wheels is turning. Where do I find the code? Huh. A little confused. Five pin hollow security code. Can't do that. What is the five pin hall security code? I feel like I need to know this. And then this is I need a light. There are solar berries over there, over the ground. I guess they can't be that dangerous. I guess I don't need any.
Distant setter switch. The switch is locked. Move relay switch. The switch is locked. Light sprite door switch. The switch is locked. I need power berries plus water plus light sprite equals cloud. I need these power berries. I have the power berries because they're like in here. I thought I did. Can't interact with this car anymore, which had power berries in it. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. The door is closed. Okay. All right. Where do I? Let me go ask the engineer. Um, and the I clicked off. I clicked off everything. All right, let me go ask the engineer. Maybe he'll know. Because that guy's not waking up. Select four. Uh, floor one, return to the living quarters. Floor three to engineering. How about floor three? Uh. There we go. <sighs> Only girl wants to have to grow blooms to enter engineering. Oops. We Ted is cold and friendly. Star Valley thinks everyone is funny and the head gardener as well a statue. Alright. Can I ask the engineer for the code? I kind of need it. Wait. Okay, cool. I can't go back. Where'd the engineer go? Alright. Um. Okay. Well, I haven't been using my guide person. This is the head gardener, their deep of meditation. All you have to say? I don't know where to get numbers in this game. This is the water machine. It feeds into the cloud machine in the next room and down in engineering. I... You need to enter a 5 bit security opening. Is your holotech working okay? Well, what... What's the 5 pin code? I'm not going to put things in at random. Oh, there's a whole different side. There's a whole other side. I did a dead robot. Captain! Not responding. Captain? I need your flower.
His grove room is offline. He may have internal damage. We need to open him up. Oh. It looks like some of his parts have been dismantled. Okay. Reassemble Captain Art's parts. Uh Okay. Okay. This is not clear. This is why would I know what the insides of him look like? Okay. Okay. He's awake! Captain, are you okay? Captain? His grove room is back online, but something's wrong. I feel like the captain may be in a chrysotonical state. A chrysotonic state? That sounds bad. What do we do? The captain's trapped within his own mind. We need to go in and bring him out. Quick, plug me in. Oh. Okay. I've never been inside someone's head before. I don't think the captain can see me. Key of some sort. Water, bottle something. All right, a flower, a sunflower song I'm drawing. I hope I can help the captain. Guiding light shield. Shield use for when a robot is lost, afraid, or trapped within a negative loop. Shield type protective. Flower notes. Chinese. Uh. Hold on. Let me get the fucking. Uh. Note. Uh. Stick. Sticky note out. Chinese. Lantern. Three. Five. Sunflower two six bio lumi one four. Okay, Chinese lantern keep us warm. Text shield ability unlocked. What about this? Okay. Do we not have this one already? Okay, we already have that one. Couple empty GM jars. Okay. So I can just write it down. Tact. Chinese lan- oh, which was Chinese lantern? Three, five. Oh, they're not numbered anymore. Wait, where'd the numbers go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So three. Three, four, five, five. Sunflower. No, sorry. Sunflower's three, five. No, it's not. It's, I'm just dumb. Sunflower two six. 
two, six, Violumi, one, four. Huh? Okay, I have to give it to him. It's not worth resting break the captain's negative thought loop first. Okay. Oh my god! Boy, okay. <laughs> protect. Is that working? Perhaps you need to break the captain's negative thought. I, I did! Sorry, what did this say? So I used to try to everything. I will never be able to protect my students. Did I not already do this? I made the protection. Okay, the therapeutic use of the loopy berry. The loopy berry can be used to treat any robot stuck in a negative thought loop. Below is an example of a negative thought loop. I will fail. There's no use to trying. The mechanical, magical properties of the loopy berry temporarily break the default mode network, a robot's cognitive wiring, which in turn breaks the negative thought loop. 
Breaking the negative loop is not a fix undo itself. When the default mode network is broken, a robot becomes lost, confused, and afraid. They will require the support of a robot therapist to guide them out of their frightened state and rebuild them. Recommended dose infuse three berries within desired beverage. Well. Where am I? What's happening? I can't move? I'm afraid? Is somebody there? This is kids in a fucking horror game? Here, have that. Oh god. <laughs> fucking shit. Jesus shit. Captain, it's me, Nara. I'm here with Brain Pilla. We've come. To guide you home. Sorry, that was my email. No, nah, our brain pillow. Thank goodness you're okay. I was so worried about you. Don't worry, Captain. We're okay. Are you alright? Can you move? I can't feel or move my legs. No, I'm gonna need your help repairing the station. Of course. Uh, there's an ad in progress because I couldn't stop it. How can I help you fix the station? First, you need to fix the cloud machine. You find the cloud machine on the other side of the garden. It's vital to the survival of the station. How do I repair the cloud machine? You'll need to repair the water machine and supply the cloud machine with solar berries and light pollen. What does the cloud machine do? It combines water, solar berries, and light pollen to create a rain cloud, which waters the garden. What is happening to the station? I fear is being attacked by Chrissy. She was the first grow bot. The head gardener gave her a quasi-crystal instead of a grow bloom. It's a long and troubling story. I promise to share it with you once the station has been secured. How is Chrissy breaking through her shields? I don't know, Nara. She's breaking through the shield's harmonic system. I can't find the others. No, I try to contact the Kino through my grow bloom, but I can't pick up her signal. I'm worried, Nara. What is happening to the station? I fear it's being attacked by Chrissy. She was the first grow bot. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me the code! Hey! Hey, Captain! Give me the code! What the fuck is this? What is this? It's the leap on. It's the doorway to another floor. Oh. I would like to go to the other floor. You asshole, you didn't give me the code! I need to go look at it and then ask him again? Hello? Oh, you don't want to tell me about it now. Okay. I need... This is the water machine. He's a cloud engineer and down to engineering. You need your 5-pin hollow security code open. Is your holotech working okay? Yeah, but I don't have a code! Give me the code!
Uh, Alright, I'm gonna assume it's the fucking protective shield shit. Those are the only numbers I have. So it's three, five, five, two, there is no six, one, four. <laughs> How am I supposed to know the fucking... That guy was supposed to tell me the code! Why- why can't I ask the captain for a code? There are no numbers involved here. I failed through the machine. Hey, captain, what's the code? I... What's the code? Come on! Already? Stuck already? I'd rather not have a name game with numbers if you're not gonna give me any numbers. Celebrates, yes. Insufficient water supply. Place you to the water machine with the cloud symbol in the previous room. Alright, now I failed. Captain, please tell me the code. I don't have numbers. I don't see anything with numbers. I literally don't see anything with numbers. I need... I need a code! Come on! Please? Now is not the time to reflect. Okay. What the fuck? Where are numbers? Do you see any numbers anywhere? Anything that looks like a number, anything at all, please. What looks like a number? Three mechanical gears in this room.
five mechanical gears. No, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I don't, I don't see anything that looks like a number. Why can't the captain tell me the number? One gear in this room. Oh good, I could have used my thing to know how to put it together. Problem in this state. Fire Ranger. Protect attack quantum function. Guiding light protection shield. Oh good, they're already just in here. Rolling ripple attack shield. The quantum shield. Okay. All right, so how do numbers, numbers, numbers? History. Well, that was something I could have figured out by looking in the book, so. Please don't make me put in random numbers. And I can't go back and ask anybody. Don't know any numbers. Three, five, two, six, one, four. One, two, three. Why do we need the hollow tick to turn this on? Three, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, five, two, six, one, four. Three, five, two, six, one, four, four. Three, five, two, six, one, four. I don't know. I don't have a number. What the fuck do you want from me? I don't have a number, and I'm not guessing. Where, where are their numbers? Where are their switches? Holotech. Search for Holotech off. What does the spinning wheel do?
What is this? I don't know. No. Resume. I don't... I don't... I don't know! I don't know! I don't know the number! Come on! This early?! In this fucking game?! There's nothing that shows a number! There's nothing that shows a number sequence! It's a six number sequence, and these are the only numbers I have. But I don't have a six. And I just tried them in the order. Of the six. I just tried them. In any combination it could be. And I can't go back into his head. So are you just screwed if you didn't grab it before? I don't know what I'm missing. Where? I don't know where the numbers are. All I see is one gear and a three. That's it. I don't see. And it says leap pod to the next floor below, but I can't go. Won't let me. Oh, uh, Highway V, I'm really frustrated because it's asking me for a code and I don't have one. The crystals appeared, so why would it be the crystals? I don't see any numbers. I don't see absolutely anything that could be got construed as a six number digit. And I don't know how I'm supposed to know and I'm not gonna guess. I'm not gonna sit there and put in a bunch of codes until it works. I need you to tell me what the code is. I need you to tell me. Can you please just tell me the code? I, I need to know what the code is. I... This is the lily pond. It's a doorway to another floor. Go to the floor. Go to the floor. I, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want from me. I don't have the code. Hey, dumbass. Come on here. Let me ask you a question. Is there absolutely anything, anything that looks like a number? Also, hi, Wavy. How are you? I, I don't see anything. There, there's absolutely nothing that can be perceived as a code. Fine, I'm gonna fucking Google it.
Are you- are you stupid? Okay. Okie dokie. Alright, is this door open yet? You switches to open and activate it. Please, okay. Light sprite relay. You use the switches to fill the empty spaces with light sprites. Move. Open. What's the third one do? What's the third thing do? I hate this. This isn't like Mechanicarium at all. Because this makes no fucking sense. are all obscure as hell. I need you not to be here. I need you not to be here! I don't understand! Fuck is this bullshit? Okay. Just randomly pull around until you get them all. Kinda pissed at this game. Oh boy! Are you telling me there's more?
I don't know what's happening. Oh my god, I don't... I don't want to do this. I may give up. The music thing is not really for me. What's up? Melodies from the Melobies. The Melobies are already part of the shield's protecting the station. The water dragons. I... Uh, my Canicarium was nice because there was no dialogue. Everything could be... Understood with pictures. No. No. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> Screw this game. Screw this game. I don't want to do it. I don't like it. Mechanicarium was great because <laughs> it... <sighs> Looking at someone to raid. Mechanicarium was great because it required no dialogue and no tutorials it was just something that you could understand so we're gonna go raid Elliot Ambers because I can't deal with this I'm sorry to end on such a bad note because I was excited to play this, but it's it's annoying. It's not satisfying puzzle-wise. It's pretty annoying. So, all right, to the transition screen. Uh, bye, everybody. I have socials and I have commissions open. Let me oh, do that thing. Comms. Uh, so I will see you guys later. Okay. Bye.
lot of demand for someone who's just got the insurance? Who lost all of his friends? <laughs> Maybe like make an area, but it's just annoying puzzles instead of feeling clever. Yeah, that's annoying. Like, when the puzzles just feel convoluted or just obnoxious instead of like feeling like there's like some kind of like cleverness to the pu puzzle. You know, like, you can't miss it. Got his ass reaped, excuse me? 